In this video, you'll learn how to solve different math problems to prepare for the CFAT and ASVAB test. If 3 times x minus 4 equals 18, what is the value of x? So let's solve for the value of x here. We're given 3 times x minus 4 equals 18. So we can start here by dividing both sides by 3. And then 3 here cancels out. And then we're left with x minus 4 equals 18 divided by 3 is 6. Then we add 4 to both sides. And 4 here cancels out. And then we're left with x equals 6 plus 4 is 10. Therefore, the answer is 10. Which of the following angles is obtuse? 100 degree, uh, 130 degrees, 45 degrees, 15 degrees, or 90 degrees? Well, what, what is an obtuse angle? So an obtuse angle is one which is greater than, uh, the measure is greater than 90 degrees. So the answer here is this one, 130 degrees. Um, that one is for the obtuse. And then for acute angles, this is the measure of acute angles is less than 90 degrees. And for right angles, um, the measure is equal to 90 degrees. How much water could a container hold that measures 8 centimeters by 12 centimeters by 10 centimeters? Now, to solve this problem, we need to solve for the volume of the container. We can just multiply the length, the width, and the height. So, length times width times height. We're given here 8 by 12 by 10, so we just multiply the dimensions. 8 centimeters times 12 centimeters times 10 centimeters. And then this gives us um, a volume that is equivalent to 960 cubic centimeters, or cc. Take note that among the choices here, we um we only have milliliter as the unit so um, since one cubic centimeter is one uh, cubic centimeter is just equal to one ml therefore the volume is also equivalent to 960 ml so the answer is 960 milliliters What does 3n plus 7 equals 16 mean? So we're given here a mathematical equation that is 3n plus 7 equals 16. And um, we need to interpret this in a mathematical sentence. So we write this mathematical equation into a mathematical sentence. So this means that um, 7 more than 3 times a number is 16. So the answer is this one. Well, 7 more than, so you add 7. 3 times a number, so you just let n be the number. Is here means equal. All right. 7 more than 3 times a number is 16. So you have to take note of all the terms that are used in um, writing mathematical sentences. Simplify the expression 3x plus 6.5x squared. So let's take a look at uh, this expression here. Um, it says simplify. So we cannot uh, simplify this further because 
the two terms are not alike and we cannot add two terms that have variables with different exponents. So this expression cannot be simplified. convert the decimal 0.125 to fraction form. So how do we convert a decimal into fraction form? Now to convert a decimal to a fraction, we can write um, the decimal as itself divided by 1. So we write 0.125 over 1. And then we multiply both uh, the decimal and the 1 or the numerator and the denominator by 10 to the power of the number of digits after the decimal uh, point. So after the decimal point here, we have uh, how many digits? Three digits or three places. So we multiply both the numerator and denominator by 10 cubed. So this would be times 10 cubed times 10 cubed. Or we can just multiply this by 1,000 because 10 cubed is equal to 1,000. So 0.125 times 1,000 is just equal to 125 over 1 times 1,000 is 1,000. And now, um, the decimal 0.125 is already converted into fraction form, which is 125 over 1,000. And now we can reduce this fraction. So 125 over 1,000 is divisible by 125. So we can divide both the numerator and denom denominator by 125. And then this would give us an answer that is equal to 1 over 8. Because 1,000 divided by 125 is equal to 8. So the answer here is 1 over 8. Which of the options combine to create an isosceles uh, triangle? So what is an isosceles triangle? So an isosceles triangle is a triangle that has two equal sides. And also the two angles opposite the two equal sides are equal. So if this is our isosceles triangle, the two sides here are equal as well as the two base angles. So let's take a look at the options here. We have 90, 40, 50, 60, 60, 40, 80, 80, 100, 45, 45, 90. And take note that the sum of the measure of the angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. And these two angles here should be equal. So the answer here is this one. 45, 45, and 90. So this should be 45 degrees. 45 degrees. So they are equal. A 45 plus 45 is 90. A 180 minus 90 is 90 degrees. Calculate the difference of negative 3 halves. So that is negative 3 halves minus 1 half. Okay, since the two fractions have the same denominators, so we can just simply add or subtract directly the numerators. So we can rewrite this as negative 3 halves plus negative 1 half. Alright, so we can add negative 3 plus negative 1, which is just equal to negative 4. So this is, we can write this as negative 4 over 2. And a negative number divided by a positive number would give us a negative number. And 4 divided by 2 is 2. Therefore, the answer here is negative 2.